Come on, guys. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. The game is between the junior varsity squads of two area high schools. Hey, Coach. Hey, how you doing? Good. How are you? Good to see you. They get the varsity squads will play later. For the two schools, this game barely registers. But for the players... You got both game balls? Did you get a game ball? And for the four zebra-striped officials, the game is serious football. After you get through with your play, you'll turn around and you'll say, okay, third down, and then they'll move. It is Philip Haynes' first chance ever to officiate a high school football game. Oh, I'm pumped and ready to go. I've been waiting a long time. Haynes is one of two rookie officials at this game learning the way of the whistle and the flag, learning to bring some objective light to an emotion-packed grid. Right, 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 right. Move the chain, move the chain, let's go, we got it first, let's go. He eventually wants to become the head guy on the field, the referee, like the 20-year veteran in the white hat. Come on out, guys, come on out, come on out. Come on out, it's red ball, red ball, get off, that's enough, that's enough, get out of here. How's it feel out there today? Feels good. I'm having fun. <laughs> Do you feel like you're in charge? Oh, yeah, I know I am. <laughs> Everybody has a pencil. Everybody has an answer sheet. He gets his confidence from training with other would-be football referees, which covers oh, and picks apart football. the rule book in classes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's talk about what we're doing here now. And which sends them through eight weeks' worth of drills on an empty football field. Now, as a linesman, you watch your referee. I mean, I thought I understood the game until I started officiating, and then it was totally different as to what, what actually happens and goes on in the game. Sometimes it can seem like it's you against the world, uh, you know, your five-man crew, that is. Make sure we get these things called. Talk off you at halftime, guys. You know, take a lot of heat, uh, a lot of abuse sometimes, but uh, I really do love the game. I'm not trying to tell you how to officiate. When they get hit in the back, I got something if it's close. I got I'd call it. Don't let the kid get hurt because I didn't see it. The game ain't over yet. Can tell me up. It is a way for a man like Philip Haynes to take an active role in a game he loves, even though he may be the most unloved man in the stadium. Turn down. Turn it sick. All right, all right, all right. Let's stop it down their throat now. You know, I try to put a lot of heat on them, and, and we all try to intimidate a little bit here and there with guys to get the call to go the way you want it to go. But they're four flagrant. We got juniors knocking the shit. Ninth graders. That's dangerous. But also, I'm very appreciative of all the young fellas getting into business and try to encourage and pat them on the back and, you know, be forgiving because they're going to see you again. You better make sure you don't make too many enemies. You'll have to catch them the next week at somebody else's place. Haynes finished the game with no embarrassing moment and a desire. I know one thing I got to work on. I said, I got a violation. <laughs> Uh, it goes up automatically, man. <laughs> to do it again next week in another high school JV game that he'll treat like big-time football. In Canton, Doug Richards, Fox 5 Eyewitness News.